Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Have you looked at the food from the LDS or the Mormon church and wondered what it's like? For example, here's a can of the apples. We can't see inside to see what it's like. We can shake it in here. We can read the ingredients are dehydrated apples, slices, sodium sulfite, which is a preservative. You can even find the nutritional facts. One of the things that I like to do when I open up a big can, a number 10 can, is I have a swing away can opener. And you can see the swing away is nice because you can open it all the way up. It has big long cushion handles and then you can easily grip and turn the handle. It goes all the way around using your arm rather than just the strength in your hand. And you can go all the way around a giant can. Let's go ahead and open up this can of apples, dehydrated apples from the LDS or the Mormon Church. You can see inside it looks more full than I might have thought it would be. This is a great time to get out the scale that I bought so we can weigh it and see how much actually is in this can. And this scale is kind of cool because you can toggle through all the different types of uh, measurement units, however many it means where you live. And true, this is the weight with the can, but a can doesn't weigh that much, so it gives you an idea. Let's go ahead and pour out some of the dehydrated or dried apples, and you can see they all look beautiful. Most of them are nice big slices, but there are some smaller bits and pieces. They're dry and they're crunchy, and absolutely they are very good. They're tasty. You can eat them dry right out of the can, or the directions tell you that you can rehydrate them by adding one half to three quarters cup of hot water to one cup of apples and let it stand for 15 minutes, then drain off the excess. So here are some apples. Here's the water. Let's pour it in and set the timer. You might want to make sure they're all submerged in the water so there aren't any dry bits that aren't in contact with the water. One way that I like to use dried fruit is in oatmeal, and I usually just make one serving because it's usually just me eating oatmeal. So I can put in my cup of water, my half a cup of oats, and I can toss in a handful of the dried or dehydrated apples. And I break them up a little bit just to make sure that you don't have just some big huge slice in them. In about five minutes, I have a nice bowl of oatmeal. It has some nice soft apple slices in it. You can even top your apple oatmeal with cinnamon if you like. Let's go ahead now and look back at the bowl. You can see the apples are rehydrated. They've plumped up and they're soft. They're not crunchy like fresh apples would be, but that would be unreasonable to think that they could do that. But this would be great if you wanted to go ahead and make them sing into an apple crisp. You can go ahead and drain them and you can see there's not that much water. It's actually a sweet apple type juice. So don't discard the juice if someone might enjoy a little sweet drink. Simple ideas of how you could incorporate the dehydrated apples from the LDS or the Mormon church. You could add them into some granola or make your own trail mix with an assortment of dried fruit, some granolas, nuts, even chocolate chips, marshmallows, whatever you like in your granola. Break up a few and add them into a bowl of Cheerios. Don't they make some apple Cheerios? That would be good. Take some of the already rehydrated apples and you could serve them on top of waffles or put them into a pancake batter and make some apple waffles or pancakes. They're really quite sweet just the way they are, but if you stirred them in with a little maple syrup, mm, that would be good. Plug in your crock pot, set it on high, we're going to make a turkey dinner in the crock pot using some of the dehydrated apples. So I have one can of turkey, one box of stuffing mix, some cranberries, some of the dried apples, butter. I'm using just one and one quarter cup of water instead of the one and a half the box asks for because there is some broth in the turkey, the canned meat. Then I'm going to add some minced onions and some chives that I dehydrated with my dehydrator. I melted the butter in with the water so that it can start cooking in the crock pot faster and easier.
If you've never used canned turkey, it's really quite good. You can see there's some big chunks. It is tender and there's some broth in there. So break up any great big chunks so that it will spread out into your stuffing mix. Spray your crock pot so nothing sticks. Pour in the meat. Spread it out over the bottom. Add the water with the melted butter. Then I'm going to add the dehydrated apples now because they need a little more water than say the cranberries do. I'm going to top it with the stuffing mix. And you just want to press it into the liquid. And I'm going to sprinkle the minced onions. Sprinkle a few chives and scatter the cranberries over the top. Put on the lid and check it in an hour and a half. The last time I prepared this, it was ready in one and a half hours. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. It's been about 90 minutes. Oh, look at that. The stuffing is all soft and moist. Look at the cranberries. They're plump. Oh, this smells so good. I've made stuffing with meat in the crock pot many times with chicken and turkey, but it's the first time I've used the dried apples. I usually just chop up an apple and put it in, but here's a way you can do it. There's an apple. See how it's nice and tender? That's the one downside of the food from the LDS or the Mormon church. It does not come with the plastic lid like, say, the foods from Augustine Farms. I was able to purchase lids years ago, but they don't seem to be available anymore. So when you're opening up your can, you need to have some idea of how you're going to store the rest of it. Maybe you want to put it into glass containers, maybe you have some Tupperware with a tight fitting lid. So you need to be prepared. Take the lid off of one of your other cans. You could perhaps store them into clean canning jars or have some sort of a Tupperware or something that's very airtight and has a nice lid so that you're able to continue to preserve the foods that you bought for your prepper pantry. The cans of food, once you open them, need to be used within about a year. So while it's nice, they can last 30 years in your pantry, don't put them away forever because they're really quite tasty foods. So it could be something, they're pretty affordable, they're tasty, they're high quality, and you can generally, you can go online and buy some more, order some more. They come in a box of six of the exact same item, so you have one to try and five to put away. And that could still be something that works, you have plenty of food for your long-term food storage stockpile. This can likely would have completely filled the three quart jars, but I was using them today showing you what they're like. So that is a lot of apples in the can in case you were wondering what do they look like? How do you use them? Are they any good? And the answer is definitely they are good, they're sweet, they're tasty, and they're nice quality apples. Just another tip while we're on the subject of the lids, when I buy the long-term foods, many times I will take one of the military style can openers and I will put it under the lid so that in an emergency situation, is it going to be the easiest way to open the can? No, but now there is a can opener in there so that you don't have to worry about where is a can opener that actually works. You'll have one with the supplies that you need. You can pick up these military can openers very inexpensively in a whole set on Amazon and I'll put a link to a video I made on how to use them. I hope you like my video. Share my video with someone else you think might find it useful. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.